Hey there, I'm Tori with your hometown station weather. A mix of sun and clouds today with highs in the low 60s. More of the same for tomorrow. Overnight tonight, mostly cloudy with lows in the 40s. The St. Clair Lenten Fish Fry is Fridays through Lent at St. Clair's in Canyon Country. Meals are dine-in or take-out, and proceeds benefit local charities and families in need. For more information, go to hometownstation.com. Now FM, 98.1 FM, and AM 1220, your hometown station. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another show here at the Coffee Corner Radio in our hometown station, KHTS. No longer just an AM station, but also an FM station. Thank you, Carl and Jerry, for making that happen. And of course, I am super stoked. My name is Thelma, and I've got my original team here with me. The dream team is what I call them. We've got Paul Mirador. Paul Mirador, hi, welcome back. We Thank missed you. Thank you, Thelma. Good morning, everyone. Real estate broker, Mr. Paul Mirador here. And of course, our dear, precious Miss T. How are you doing, Miss T? I'm good, and good morning to each and every one. How are you? I'm great. And Advance Happy Chinese New Year. Oh, how yeah. do we how do we greet them in Chinese, Misty? Kung hei fa choi. Kung hei fa choi to everybody. That's right, because Paul here has some Chinese blood in him, so he certainly said that better than you and I did, Misty. Anyway, <laughs> and belated Happy Valentine's to everyone. How was your Valentine's Day? Oh, good, very good. Yes, I will ask about details later. Sure. It sounds like it's probably uh, an R-rated answer. And uh -huh. you, Paul. Oh, How was yours? Uh, no, it went great. Better than I expected. And, good. Uh, more than I expected. Good, good. I know you baked a lovely cake for the wife, right. that, which well, is wonderful. I've been baking beforehand, too. So I've been kinda, <laughs> I started with baking brownies and tinted a cake and then a, uh, uh, you know, a different cake. So Unfortunately, okay. he practicing. didn't share any thing about what he tried last uh, well oh, i mean yes well i gotta try it first before oh. I, <laughs> okay. I want to make Maybe sure it's good week. enough for you <laughs> okay <laughs> wonderful for everyone. well let's see what's been happening this week this week i was privileged to have been invited by the uh, supervisor hilda solis who was a uh, once state senator he's mm -hmm. she's now on the board a supervisor and she had her inaugural chinese new year lunar celebration mm -hmm. at the City Hall, Kenneth Hall, in Los Angeles, and I was privileged to have represented the Filipino community. That's and great. Yes, no, and it was lovely. Anyone who is anyone was there from the Korean community, from the uh, Cambodian community, from, uh, of course, the Chinese community, but it was amazing, and I actually have a few clips that we'll share on our podcast, Paul, but for now, I'd like to really talk about that, gosh, that neurologist, wasn't he amazing? Dr. Artin Manayan, we did a pre-interview, um, my dear friends here at your hometown station, with a physician, and the reason why I found him was because my son was experiencing severe case of migraine, never saw it coming he couldn't sleep. Three weeks it took for us to finally get him to see someone because all constantly asking to be seen by someone of authority. So I had to do my research. He's that kind of a person. He's lovely. He's, he, I adore my son. But yeah, he knows his stuff. He's not quick to just take anyone's advice. It needs to be someone credible. And he studies them and finally found someone that met his <laughs> requirements and qualifications and his name is Dr. Artin Manayan and we're going to play for you a short clip on that particular interview. It was about his study on wake-up strokes. So he's a neurologist, so obviously an expert when it comes to illnesses that um, are connected with the nerve, nervous system. Migraine is part of that and so let's listen to this wonderful interview with Dr. Artin Manayan. Thanks for having me. Um, so uh, I am a neurologist trained uh, with uh, specialization in uh, stroke patients, although I treat other neurological disorders such as headaches, um, dementias, and um, you know, uh, epilepsy and uh, such. 
Uh, I um, deal uh, majority of my time in the inpatient uh, aspect of this practice, which is in the hospitals, uh, mostly uh, with uh, stroke patients. Mm -hmm. uh, the other neurological disorders are more stabilized. Mm -hmm. When the patient is more stabilized, they can come to the office, but in the, in the inpatient uh, setting, it's mostly uh, stroke patients. Uh, stroke, um, we can categorize stroke in uh, two different ways, I guess. Uh, uh, the strokes can fall into the clotting type of strokes versus hemorrhagic type of stroke, which is bleeding type of strokes. 80% um, of the patients usually are the clotting type of stroke, um, and 20% 20, uh, 20 fall into the bleeding type of strokes. Is um, one more dangerous than the other? Uh, dangerous, uh, we, uh, you know, it depends on the size of the stroke, mm -hmm. the type of the stroke. Each of these two categories that I just mentioned can be subcategorized into even more um, um, subcategories, right. I would say. Sure. Um, which is more dangerous, again, it depends on which area of the brain uh, it involves. Huh. Uh, it depends on the severity of it, how big of a size of a brain it involves, and such. Uh, so it's, it's a very difficult question to say that. Of course. Now, um, preventive? Preven preventive measures, I'm Pre sure. Preventive measures, um, we as neurologists um, act on the strokes uh, on acute basis and on a chronic basis, which is more of a preventive. Okay. Uh, on acute basis, overnight we get called as neurologists uh, when a patient arrives to the emergency department and we're the very first ones that the quote stroke uh, alert goes off is when we get called as neurologists. Um, what do you look for? We immediately do a CAT scan of the head. We're looking to see which way we're going. Is it bleeding type of a stroke or a clotting type of stroke? And that's exactly, um, that's when things um, begin, kind right. of, as far as this acute stroke workup. Um, we then if, the, if there's no bleeding on the casket of the head, then it's a clotting type of stroke. Now my job immediately is to, uh, with medications, to dis, uh, dissolve basically the clot. Hmm. Presumably there's a clot sitting in one of the arteries of the brain that's blocking uh, passage of uh, nutrients and blood and uh, whatnot to an area of the brain that's now not receiving it. Hmm. So we're trying to dissolve that clot immediately as, as soon as we can hmm. uh, with a uh, medication called... Uh, it's given intravenously, it's called TPA. What is that? Uh, Alteplase is actually the brand, uh, and uh, it's probably one of the strongest blood thinners now we have. Um, starting from the least uh, potent one, aspirin, you probably heard of Plavix, mm -hmm. then we go to Coumadin and such, and now IV TPA is probably the strongest one we give. Is that like a blood thinner? It's a blood thinner, yeah. Okay, so like war warfare and then... It's way stronger than that, okay. yes. War str way stronger than warfarin, which okay. is Coumadin, is a brand name. I see. Um, so immediately within three hours, and sometimes some patients within four and a half hours of arrival to the emergency department or from the onset of the events, we have to dissolve the clot. And that's when we are. We come into play. And How many minutes do you have to be able to save a patient? I mean, what is the critical time... Sure. When the patient has to be seen from the time he experiences. Exactly. So we, uh, the Department of uh, Health and JCO have um, come up with criteria. Mm -hmm. um, within five to ten minutes or fifteen minutes, a doctor has to see the patient. Sometimes, if we're there, we run to the patient, or emergency doctor runs there. In some hospitals nowadays, we have tele stroke. Mm -hmm. So at home. I home, I may get a phone call and I have to get on my camera, right. on my cell phone or iPad or computer or whatnot, and I have to see the patient immediately That's within a few minutes. And then there's criteria to do the CAT scan, to read the CAT scan, and uh, technically in 45 minutes nowadays is the best time frame to give, from the time of arrival to the TPA given has to be within an hour or at um, uh, the best institution, I would say less than 45 minutes. That's interesting. So we're now into telemed. So now you actually are trying to assist someone via the telephone. Obviously, the, if with the video, it would probably be more helpful so you can actually see the state of the patient. Exactly. Like, right? And then you ask him particular questions, I would think, to see his level of alertness. Exactly. So the, the, the point of doing telestroke is 
uh, is because our studies for ischemic stroke patients have shown that um, you know we we have a scale called NIH stroke mm -hmm. scale, mm -hmm. and that's just uh, looking at the patient's uh, face, speech, vision, mm -hmm. arm strength, leg strength, numbness, tingling, speed. All of these uh, categories are uh, used to come up with a score. When the score reaches about three to four is when uh, we, uh, the medication is shown to be more beneficial to the patient. Of course, that's just a portion of that entire 11 minute interview, I think is what we did, Paul. And let me tell you, he is not only amazing because he's an expert and he's done a lot of clinical studies. I always have heightened respect I should say, for a doctor who's had that teaching experience. So he's, that, he's been a clinical instructor of neurology in New York at the New York Medical College. He's also done, been a uh, clinical instructor of neurology at the Jamaica Hospital Medical Center. His um, medical school, he hails from St. George's University School of Medicine, Granada, West Indies, and uh, my goodness, his resume goes on. He was on the Dean's Lister for five quarters here uh, while he was taking biological sciences at the UC Irvine. But really, it's the passion he had for his patients, and that's so evident as we were speaking with him. And I know for a fact, Miss T, mm -hmm. that Did you also Colin? have the um, migraine. Severe migraine. Severe migraine, actually, yes. You were diagnosed true. with that. Oh, yeah. I suggest you see him. His <laughs> offices are out of Glendale. Mm -hmm. He actually practices in some of these hospitals, Glendale Adventist, Glendale Memorial, also at the USC Verdugo Hills Hospital mm -hmm. and the Huntington Memorial Hospital, Pasadena. So do see him. And we'll probably, if we have time after the tail end of the show, play the, play the other half of that. But but they can also watch the full video of the interview Yay, uh, yeah. on the Coffee them. Corner Radio Facebook page. Wonderful. Can so you tell them that again? That, we're going to post that the full interview uh, video on the Coffee Corner Radio Facebook page. Uh, if not tonight, uh, first thing tomorrow morning. And I know KHTS will also have us on their site soon enough. So we'd like for you to start making KHTS a habit, as well as the Coffee Corner Radio, of course, through our Facebook page. And now we have, well, you know, let me, before we lead into this phone-in, we've got someone on the phone. I'm so excited. He's an Olympian. Remember, we're also into the Winter Olympic season. And so we've got a guest here. He's an Olympian. Let me tell you before I introduce to you who he is, that he has actually competed in 1,000-meter kayak events at the 1996 as well as the 2000 Summer Olympics, for which he was chosen to be the U.S. flag bearer for that 2000 Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you Cliff Mydell. Cliff! You're on. How are you doing? Hi, All right, good. You doing, did you right, hear the uh, wonderful? Uh, did you hear the wonderful introduction we did for you, or you're you're not within our scope of coverage? <laughs> yeah, that sounds perfect. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Wonderful. So, Cliff, talk to me about what it takes to be an Olympian. I've already introduced to you you as an Olympian, but I know you're also a sought after motivational speaker. Talk to us about what it takes to become an Olympian. Well, I think that, uh, you know, that's a, a great question, you know, what uh, makes people, I think that uh, in real simplistic terms, you know, we're all ordinary people that have the ability to accomplish extraordinary things. So, you know, that being said, what become, how do you become an Olympian? Uh, I think that that goes back to childhood for many of us, uh, you know, and mine was an accidental uh, incident that I became an Olympian. I had to go through an extreme adversity uh, when I was 20 years of age, but I also had that Olympic bug in my heart ever since I was a young kid. I used to dream about competing in large arenas. Uh, I was always a soccer player, never an upper body uh, sport athlete like kayaking. So, you know, for me, it was always that uh, Olympic fever. It was always looking up to role models that kind of got that bug in me. But, you know, becoming an Olympian takes, and as everybody knows, an enormous amount of dedication, enormous amount of will and determination in order to reach that dream. And it's a uh, it's a great avenue to travel down, and uh, you know, but it's almost like anything else. Uh, everybody's got a dream, and you know, you have to roll up the sleeves, and you definitely have to apply that grit and that belief and that dream if you want to be able to accomplish that goal. So that would be my definition of how to become an Olympian: just work really hard and dream big. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. you can see why he's a motivational speaker and one that's sought after. Very inspiring. Thank you, Cliff. And my co-host here, Paul, actually had a question for you. He's done some research, and he knows that one of the uh, modules that you teach is on well, the, it's, it's uh, 811. Go ahead, Paul. Right. right. So, basically, hi, Cliff. How are you doing? All right. Very good. How are you doing? Good, good. I, uh, I just read about some of your uh, current uh, projects. As one of them is the Georgia or GA811. Uh, right. So how, how's that going? Well, it's going pretty good. I mean, I've been uh, partnering up on a national level with many of these different uh, state organizations that, uh, you know, provide the awareness platform for calling before you dig. Whether you're a homeowner or a contractor, that's one of the things that uh, we asked him, a national spokesperson for a couple of different organizations uh, in that 811 realm. But uh, just like here in Southern California, uh, we have dig alerts. So anytime you're doing any excavating, whether it's putting in a mailbox, planting a tree, putting in a new fence, uh, you're to call 811 before you do any digging, uh, two days before your digging project. So, right. Uh, so basically the 811 is not, does not only apply in uh, Georgia. Does it also apply in uh, Los Angeles or in California? Oh, yeah. Eight one one. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's a great question. Absolutely. Anywhere you are in, the, in our nation, if you just call 811, uh, whether you're in California, Oklahoma, Florida, Georgia, uh, the New England uh, uh, states, uh, just call 811 and you'll get transferred to a local call center uh, which is typically in the state that you're calling in. Yeah, because I understand this actually started with you when you were uh, on working on a uh, jackhammer and you got yourself electrocuted by h touching three wires, three live wires, and right. and uh, nobody told you that there was uh, live gr uh, ground, you know, on, on and also they could be digging into some pipes and all that, so you never know. Yeah, and, and that's one of the things is that I think the most important thing is, you know, how do we spread the awareness? And with my story being injured on a job site as a kid uh, and then overcoming that extreme adversity and going to the Olympics and all that is essentially, you know, if you want to put it as simple as this, uh, you know, bread meets toast. And because so of my... It's, it's a, it, yeah, no, go ahead. It's a, it's a good fit for me. Uh, and if I, I always like to say, if I could inspire one person, whether you're a homeowner or a contractor or working out in the field, uh, to be safe, that's what my mission is. Yeah. But because of my background in real estate, uh, being a realtor, I, I didn't know about uh, you know any service that provides uh, an inspection before you dig. Because you know people are going to be you know building, redeveloping, renovating, putting new foundations, new posts, digging, and who do we call, right? So this right. is great. Eight one one. Exactly. Yeah. Who do we call? <laughs> <laughs> call Cliff Mydell. Right. How's that? Yeah. You have to take yeah. all the calls, Cliff. <laughs> so Cliff, yeah. listen. I know you're adding another component to your motivational lecture circuit. Are you ready to talk about that? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, sure. No problem. Talk so uh, essentially, as uh, uh, Zelma, as you know, I've been a motivational speaker for, for many years now. And, uh, you know, speak to all different uh, sectors of the industry, whether you're in construction, safety, or corporate motivational talks, I do those. But uh, recently, I'm partnering up with uh, Dr. Malcolm Westavoy, who's a famous plastic surgeon uh, in Los Angeles. And, and the reason why is because of the kinship he and I express. He saved my legs, uh, you know, over 30 years ago when I was in this accident. And he has a phenomenal story. I mean, one of the pioneers in reconstructive plastic surgeries. And uh, he and I are, are proposing to go on stage and, and tell our story of how science uh, meets patient and how a doctor uh, is able to inspire a young little kid uh, to know to not only be the best that he can be, uh, but to go out there and, and accomplish the goal of going to the Olympics after such a tragic accident. That's so, so powerful. Hoping, yeah, that is yeah. so powerful. We can't wait. Could we? Could we get an invite to that special platform? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we'll cover that for yeah. you. All right. Cliff, I know so, you're terribly busy, so we'll let you off. Thank you so much, and we hope to have you live on our radio program next show, yes? Yeah, that'd be great. And then also go to cliffmidal.com if you'd like more information on me or if you want to book me as a speaker, that'd be great. And you can also go to Facebook at Cliff Meidel, and uh, I am there and available, and we'd love to help anybody that needs to help, anybody going through adversity. You're the best. We love it. Hey, Cliff, we'll put yeah. your uh, website on our uh, Facebook page, also your link to your website. And uh, advance happy birthday. 
March 6th, right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, an, an, another year. <laughs> More gray hair. Happy birthday, Alrighty, Cliff. Guys. And thank you yeah, so much for joining for the Coffee Corner show. Radio. Talk to you soon, right, guys. Take care, Cliff. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so that was fun. Well, let me tell you, I saw the Olympics, a tail end of it, Winter Olympics. My favorite sport in that entire Olympics festival, I will call it festival for lack of a better term, is the uh, pair skating, figure skating. Ah, oh. You know who won first place? Not it's, surprising. Well, which, which Germany. Uh, category? Uh, Germany has the me- most medals right now. No, but here's this. St- remember he was talking about adversity, and mm-hmm. he's been to the Olympics twice. This lady by the name of... Alona, and I want to say her name right so she doesn't kill me. S- I'll start to say Savchenko. Is oh, is that a, yeah the that, Chinese? Is no, no, no. This is German. This oh, okay. is the first placer. Second placer was placer was Canada, and then Chinese oh, is yeah. the third placer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you were close. They they only did the bronze for them, mm-hmm. but that's okay. They were equally. At least, you know, they I were will able tell you, Savchenko has been in six Olympic feats. Oh wow! That is tenacity for you. Oh. That's not given up. So I think she had bronze for like her last medal achievement in the last Olympics. She really went there for the gold. And you know what's inspiring? Her partner. Let me try and see if I can remember that name. I know that I thought name. you were just oh, watching Mas- the Olympics. Maso or something. M-A-S-S-O-T got his German citizenship a day before the Olympics. Mm. So now he was, yeah, he legitimately became a German citizen so that he could legitimately represent Germany a day before because there's like a language test. Mm -hmm. That's the fiercest test. I'm told that there's so many steps, but that language test is so fierce because you got to learn a new language. You know what I'm saying? Be masterful. Well, one thing is that he didn't give up before competing. He didn't. You know, uh, he trained was, before comp- You know, he became. It's one. all about training. It's all about getting prepared for when that moment comes, and you have that opportunity. And we'll talk. We'll talk more about that when we come back here at the Coffee Corner Radio on your hometown station, KHTS. Hometown KHTS breaking news. If you're noticing a lot of police activity in the Saugus High School area, that's because there was a soft lockdown on the high school due to information that had been relayed to Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station deputies. As a precautionary measure, the deputies were on the scene checking everything out on the campus. For full details, go to hometownstation.com. Do you like to rock across Africa? Then the wait is over. Africa rocks! Africa's Greatest Hits is now available at the San Diego Zoo! And who could forget 99 red baboons? (laughs) Or the African Crested Porcupine Smash It! I got quills to pay the bills! Hey, don't get too close. And the hits keep on coming. Africa Rocks has all your favorites from six different African habitats. Hungry like a leopard. Ibex is bad. Harder, better, fossa stronger. And a new track from Kendrick Lieber. Now, Larry. Yes, Chuck? A collection of this magnitude, I'd fly to Africa. (laughs) Well, don't pack your bags, friend. Africa Rocks is only available right here at the San Diego Zoo. Wow, that really does rock. No, it Africa Rocks. Welcome to Africa Rocks. Experience six different African habitats, including our first ever aquatic enclosure with African penguins. Only at the San Diego Zoo. Don and Gino here. So we know you want to have fun learning about real estate and finance. You're going to want to tune in this Saturday, 9 a.m. to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here on your hometown station. Hot topics, as always, guiding you to personal financial wellness. That's right. You don't want to miss it. So again, this Saturday, 9 a.m., and then we replay it online Sunday, 9 a.m., Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. right here on the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. Join us. Let's go inside the mind of a 10-year-old. I should have worn earrings today. Buckle up, Sarah. Michaela's got, like, the best earrings. Sarah, buckle up. I wish my name was Michaela. We're not hitting the road until you buckle up, honey. Oh, yeah, seatbelt. I wonder if there's pizza at school today. It can be tough getting through to kids, but it's your job to make sure they're wearing your seatbelts. Never give up until they buckle up. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Visit safercar.gov slash kidsbuckleup for more information. 
Here's some great news. There's a new social app specifically designed for developmentally disabled community called Oakdate. That's O-A-K-D-A-T-E for that one-of-a-kind play date, friend or roommate you've been looking for. So if you are or know of someone that could benefit from this app, help them download the app Oakdate on their smartphone. Pretty soon, we'll be able to help you find work, partially subsidized home, or even transportation to get you to your appointments. So hurry and do this now. For assistance, call 747-221-2322. Hey there, I'm Tori with your hometown station. Weather, a mix of sun and clouds today with highs in the low 60s. More of the same for tomorrow. Overnight tonight, mostly cloudy with lows in the 40s. The St. Clair Lenten Fish Fry is Fridays through Lent at St. Clair's in Canyon Country. Meals are dine-in or takeout, and proceeds benefit local charities and families in need. For more information, go to hometownstation.com. K-H-T-S. Now FM, 98.1 FM, and AM 1220, your hometown station. Here, we're back here at the Coffee Corner Radio on your hometown station, KHTS. Now on an FM as well as AM. That's uh, 98.1 on your FM and 1220 on your AM. And uh, we have... A regular. <laughs> but let me, before I introduce you, let's summarize what just took place for those who weren't with us just in that last in. segment. So um, we had a neurologist by the name of Dr. Artin Manayan who's been so helpful with people who've just experienced strokes as well as my son, anyone like my son who's had severe migraine as well as Misty here who's with me. And then we had an Olympian talk about what it takes to be an Olympian and how he got there. Uh, that was Cliff Mydell. You can check him out. He's now a motivational speaker, sought after. And uh, he's got his website, Cliff Mydell. That's spelled M-E-I-D-L. And so now I'd like to return to the present time. We've got Aggie Coburn, founder of CEC Global Events, as well as co-founder of E360, which is a broadcast network. My goodness, what is, what is it that you don't do? Because now I know you're also into co-op crowdfunding. All sorts of Aggie, things. Aggie, welcome back to the Coffee Corner Radio. Thank you, Thelma. Always nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you, Aggie. And I believe we've got one of our people from uh, the uh, co-op crowdfunding mm -hmm. with us on the line. And let me talk to you about her before having her on. Jennifer Garland is out of San Diego, lives in San Diego with her two lovely teenagers. She's the producer of a concert for peace, almost in the tradition of live aid. So it's called Live Peace. Or is it Live Peace? Live Peace. Live Peace. That's live what peace. I thought. Jennifer joins us this morning to share with us how she is crowdfunding with a dynamic new program for her concert as well as to help out with her children's college education. Why not? Jennifer, welcome to the Coffee Corner Radio. You're live. Thank you so much, Thelma. Appreciate it. I love being with you. Thank and you. How are you? Yes, and Aggie's here with us. Say hello, hello Aggie. Jen. Hi, Jen. <laughs> and our co-host today... I'm so happy to have my dream team back. Jennifer, I've got Paul Mirador, real estate expert, as well as Miss T. How are you? <laughs> okay. I'm great, thank you. Wonderful. So, yes, talk to us about this new, well, it's, it's not new for you, it's new for, for us. It's called the, the co op crowdfunding, yes? Yes, it is. And thanks again for the time. It's a wonderful new program that uh, launched out of Toronto, Canada called Co op Crowdfunding. And I know Aggie, my good friend, has been involved in crowdfunding for some time. And most programs that are out there have been very successful, and we've heard of them. GoFundMe, Kickstarter, and Indiegogo. <clears throat> but those programs all require that we send out to our friends usually one time to reach out for a donation for a particular cause or event or nonprofit. In the case of co-op crowdfund, what we have here is a program that can build a sustainable recurring income. So what we do is we call it a, uh, much like Save the Children, you're putting in a payment each month. So a donation of 25 euros, which is 30 US dollars each month, and that goes through our team, then that becomes a regular recurring amount that gets paid out 100% to the people on the program. 
That's so it's, wonderful. Who couldn't choose that? Who couldn't choose well, that it, these days? Of course, and it's so great now because we're lots of businesses are using crowdfunding for everything. Last year, crowdfunding did $212 billion. Wow. So it's obviously become a very hot way of raising capital in today's economy. So, uh, And I know, Thelma, you're involved in the program, so it'd be nice for you to tell people. Um, I can, if you'd like, share the link for them to come to your program, which is 3932.coopcf.com. And that's how you'd find out more from Thelma. Actually, I'd like Aggie to talk about that because Aggie got me into it. And she knows that I usually vet these programs before I get involved. But because I am involved with a um, social app for the developmentally disabled, which I really am passionate about and wanted to help, I said, why not? I mean, if we can somehow help these nonprofit orgs, which I'm very passionate about, like I said, one of which is Oak Life, then I think it's the way to go. Aggie, talk to us about that. Yeah, I, I agree. I think there's there's some benefits to this. It's a very low entry point, and you're doing something good, and it's very sustainable. As soon as you bring three people in, it doesn't cost you anything. So, so it's got that network marketing component to it, but the best part is the crowdfunding component. Um, so it, it allows you to give funds to where you want to give funds to. I brought in an organization um, that helps orphans around the world. So my motivation in it was to bring in this organization and help um, some associates of mine that have saved thousands of orphans from Africa to Peru to India to uh, just countries everywhere. So there's always, you know, there's something we all want to do to help. And, and we can't get, always give thousands and thousands of dollars, so we get involved in things like this. And I think it's wonderful, sustainable, and I have run hundreds and hundreds of crowdfunding projects. And the tough thing is that you usually have to find people yourself to help with the crowdfunding project. Yes. This is a program that people come in and come in and come in, and everybody's helping with all the projects that are going on. So it's very, very different. You're not out there searching for, for you know, people to help you. There's already a team in, in, ingrained in here. So it's a very different type of crowdfunding. And if you go to the site, you can see all of those things. Could you give them that site again, please? Jen, what's the site? Sure. Uh, I want to make sure I have your number here. It is. Oh, Aggie. Oh, give them. No, no, give them Thelma's. Thelma's is fine. Right. So. Um, While you look it up, yeah, Paul, you. I need to look it up. RSG Foundation could benefit from something like this. Yeah, Talk could. to us about RSG Foundation. Well, RSG Foundation, uh, basically, uh, what just like a couple of months ago, we did a uh, fundraising event. A non -pro RSG Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We threw a fundraising event a couple of months ago in December, Dancing Like the Stars. That was beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was held at the U.S. Bank Tower in downtown L.A. And all the proceeds, uh, the ticket sales and all that, went to feed the poor families in a, in a city in the Philippines, in Bulacan, Philippines. And uh, for those people who are, you know, who don't have any food for Christmas Eve or Christmas dinner. Was it 1,500 families that you were able to feed we or 3,000? Uh, we were about, no, 1,500. 1,500, 1500 families. families that we there were, were about three, to two to a household, so that's why right. the 3,000 number right. was on my head. Right. Last okay. time it was like 3,500, but this time, you know, we're trying to do more. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's... It's just basically providing meals and, and for people who are, and families have been, you know, uh, out of luck. Marginalized. No, for exactly. sure. The marginalized. Before Christmas, you know, before the Christmas day, you've got to have a Christmas right. Eve dinner, right? But I know the founder of RSG has this ongoing program throughout the year. It so is an ongoing thing. So it's not just only on Christmas, on Christmas, on Christmas right. uh, day, but uh, you're, you know, uh, you're also. And she uh, actually has an opening. For and, her, her little business, and, which and is a yes, privately Miss, funded business. Misty and I think Miss T has that. the details on that. Oh, yeah. There will be a grand opening actually on the 25th of February. So this month? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. that's Sunday at uh, 12 to 6. And... Um, I believe if you um, you know if you know um, like brand names, you will definitely love to shop because <laughs> they sell high end uh, designer Certified, brand names. Understand, oh yeah, right? definitely, and they even have jewelry, watches, and uh, accessories. And I think Paul, um, that company actually gives a portion of their proceeds to the R to they RSG do that Foundation. Too. Right, they do that too. Of course, they save you know some money every month that goes towards at the end of the year uh, mm -hmm. to to do that uh, to you know. Uh, fundraising events. See why I love well, my team. They're all about giving back. And that's what's so <laughs> wonderful about this, that, that you can engage something like that mm -hmm. and be raising money through the entire year. 
and put into something like that. So okay. I think we all have our reasons. Jennifer's is, is her concert. Mine is this orphan charity, which is an incredible organization that's been around for about 10 years, and, and projects like that. Right. And that's what this whole group, this, this whole crowdfunding co-op is all about. That's These right. are our nice. whys. Mm -hmm. Remember, Absolutely. the why is big enough. Details don't matter, but we do need exactly. that detail, Jennifer, to give to our listeners Absolutely. so they can read about it. you have that? Thank there? you for that. You bet. You bet. It's 3932.coopcf.com. And Jennifer, what is the site itself? What is the site is coopcrowdfund.com. Yeah, coopcrowdfund.com. Now, you know and what? I, I just pointed out to to Aggie that there's actually another company that has a similar name. So how do they distinguish? I don't want them to be going to, to that other company. Uh, did you tell her about that? Well, mm -hmm. we can have that conversation mm -hmm. another time. I was just, I just thought I might bring that up. So it's Co-op Crowdfunded. Am I correct? Crowdfunded.com? Crowdfunded.com. Crowdfund. 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 No, with, without Crowdfund. the ED. Okay. So it's Co-op Crowdfund. Dot com. That's C-O-O-P-C-R-O-W-D-F-U-N-D dot com. Thanks, Jennifer, and we hope to have Absolutely. you live here on KHTS at the Coffee Corner Radio next month, okay? Thank you. Is that a deal Appreciate or what? Oh, wonderful. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Take care and drive safe. Okay. Thank you so much, Aggie, and thanks, Dama. Anytime, anytime. Thank you. So. Actually, I just have a question. Sure. Um, is there Aggie, any yeah. Ms. Aggie, yeah, is there any qualifications for you to become um, a member or at least for you to be able to receive the benefits? No, no. It's actually open to anybody that basically can sign up for it. Oh. Um, and it, it, it's a really interesting project. Jen brought it to me about a month ago. And I don't get too involved in too many of these things, but I, I immediately for saw... For good reason. For good reason. Yeah, <laughs> for very good reason. Most That's of these wonderful. we want to stay away from. Um, but I researched it. I sp talked to the founder of it. We talked a lot about crowdfunding. My background is very heavy in crowdfunding. I've run so many projects. So I understand that portion of it very well. And I needed to understand how this was all going to come together. So, you know, I've had several conversations. And I actually got involved in it, which is very unique for me in these things. So, And then Thelma got involved through me. So we're, we're, we're channeling this thing. And involvement means bringing people in. And just a few. It doesn't mean hundreds. It means a few. And they bring a few. And they bring a few. And it's a co-op. That's what I I like about it and we all help and it's everybody has a reason for doing it um that's the, the whole concept behind it which is what's so nice because that doesn't exist so different in most. yes yeah, so different that sets it apart from it the does. other crowd it does absolutely now paul paul is not only a realtor paul knows a lot about crowdfunding because we've used that in the past paul i know that because we've helped a lot of other nonprofit or especially right. within the philam community but there's also Something else that you're doing because you are in the real estate business, because you are involved in nonprofit org, that actually allows most of our listeners, ourselves, we were actually on board with that, to save on things that they use every day, like their dish, like their telecommunications. Can you give them your phone phone number so that they can call you regarding how they can save on Verizon on well, all their phone bills? Well, just to keep it short and simple. Uh, you know, just to keep it short and simple, the, if you want to lower your bills, your utility bills, your cell phones, your TV, uh, direct TV, and, and, and anything else. Uh, energy. If you want to, energy bills. If you, utility bills. So if yeah. you want to lower your, your utility bills and so on, uh, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to show you how to do it, how to get it done. And it, it doesn't cost you anything. And, uh, yeah, and we can lower your bills. Uh, it's just, uh, you can call me at 818-618-8108. Again, the number is 818, area code 618-8108. And, uh, yeah, just to keep it simple, I didn't want to take no, too much course, of the time. No, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, if but you want to lower your bills. I wanted all our listeners to benefit from this show. Right. We're trying to give them information. Mm -hmm. This show was designed mm -hmm. to help people with their health, wealth, and fitness. And wellness. Yeah, and wellness. And then we added arts and culture because every usually we end it with an entertainer, but we've got such a full <laughs> full slot of guests today, so we couldn't do that, but that's perfectly okay. But we do want to mention that our friend Aaron Akins has a show tonight. He's been on our show twice. He's like the um, Nat and Cole, I will say. You remember Aaron? Mm -hmm. You've, you've listened to him, mm -hmm. and he's got a show. It's going to be at the Vitello's, somewhere in Sherman Oaks, Tahunga. 
and it's going to be tonight. It's, I guess, a post-Valentine's kind of celebration. And I think it's going to have Nicole, the other entertainer we had. They met here. They thought, oh, this is great. We sound good together. I think she's going to be singing a song with him. So let's support that. Sure. Let's try to, to yeah? Sure, Missy, sure, sure, sure. you're on board? If, of course. Yeah. Paul, you're on board? No, I know. Aggie yeah. lives in, yeah. that, in Orange County, <laughs> so we're not going to force her oh. to stay until yeah. 10, 11 to do that with Thank us. You. We're not going to punish you, <laughs> but we do want you to be on the next one. Yeah. So Aaron Akins, good luck. We want you to do a shout out. Nicole, glad you're on board with Aaron Akins tonight at Vitello's, ladies and gentlemen. So we will have another guest on our final slot. We'll let, bring him in. He's. I saw him. He came in. His name is Michael Soriano. Stay tuned. He'll be talking about stem cell therapy. And a, I think it's a vascular circulation. Oh, my son did it because of that headache. It really helped. So I'll leave it to the expert. We talked no more. We'll be right back here at the Coffee Corner Radio on your hometown station, KHTS. Now on FM 98.1, AM 1220. Hometown KHTS breaking news. If you're noticing a lot of police activity in the Saugus High School area, that's because there was a soft lockdown on the high school due to information that had been relayed to Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station deputies. As a precautionary measure, the deputies were on the scene checking everything out on the campus. For full details, go to hometownstation.com. RSG Foundation needs your help. Every Christmas for over three decades now, this nonprofit 501c3 org provides 1,500 families their holiday dinner and gift packages. That's over 3,500 people who get their hot festive meal at least once a year. Your donation is fully tax deductible. Visit their GoFundMe page at their website, rsgfoundationgifts.org. For more information, call Paul and Marianne at 818-618-8108. That's 818-618-8108. A royal suite. A royal suite home furnishings is celebrating its 41st President's Day sale with the lowest prices ever. Now through February 28th, a three-piece queen bed, only $148. Or a five-piece queen bedroom set with bed, dresser, and nightstand, just $388. A beautiful five-piece sectional, only $1,198. Bedroom sets from $799 and foam mattresses on sale. Hurry, limited stock only. Plus 48 months financing, no interest on approved credit. A Royal Suite Home Furnishings in Centerpoint across from Sam's Club or at aroyalsuite.com. A Royal Suite. Sweet dreams. Morning, Liz. And a good sunrise emoji, mountaintop summit emoji morning to you, Jim. Did you just talk to me in emojis? I did, because this egg white grill from Chick-fil-A is fist bump emoji good. I don't know if you can talk in emojis. Grilled chicken, egg whites, and cheese. It tastes like hearts just popped out of my eyes. I assume that's also an emoji? Yes! You get it! Yeah, I understand nothing. High five emoji, Jim. The Egg White Grill from Chick-fil-A. Served until 10.30 a.m. Bring on the day. Olive Terrace Bar and Grill is the hottest new Mediterranean fusion restaurant in Santa Clarita with unique delicacies like seafood right off the boat. Mouth-watering prime steaks, artesian sandwiches, delicious pastas, and tasty kebabs. Unwind on their cozy outdoor patio at their weekend champagne brunch, full menu, and weekly specials at oliveterracebarandgrill.com. Check out their full bar and happy hour daily specials in Valencia on Copper Hill and Newhall Ranch Road by LA Fitness. Olive Terrace Bar and Grill, delicious food seasoned with love. Love. Now FM 98.1 FM and AM 1220, your hometown station. We're back. We're back here at the Coffee Corner Radio with, well, let me summarize what happened for those who are just tuning in. So we had Aggie and her associate Jennifer Garland to speak about co-op crowdfunding before that, we had the Olympian, Cliff Meidel, who spoke about what it takes to be an Olympian, as well as his uh, role on the motivational lecture circuit. And then before that, we had Dr. Artin Manayan, who is a uh, neurologist, one of, I think, how would you say, the most capable I've seen. She certainly passed my son's standards. Um, we had to find an expert, and he was there. 
He treated my son and is now A-OK. So look out for those names. Dr. Artie Manayan out of Glendale, Aggie Cobrin, E360, CEC Global Events, crowdfunding, co-op crowdfunding, and of course, Paul Meridor with Realtor. Now, I want, I'm super stoked for this guest, Michael Suryano, an entrepreneur and the founder of Stem Cell USA. And I will tell you, stem cells have been around, pretty controversial in a lot of sense. But you know what? Michael Suryano found this business because of his personal experience with it. Welcome, Michael Suryano, to the Coffee Corner Radio here on your hometown station, KHTS FM 98.1 AM 1220. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to be here, and I'm very excited to have an opportunity to talk to your listeners? Absolutely. I'd like, first of all, to hear about your personal experience with stem cell. Well, um, the personal experience happened when I got a call from a friend requesting for help because they wanted to get the stem cell uh, out there to the doctors. Um, it came at a very good time because it was at a point where I was very unhealthy and the doctor uh, that was treating me did not believe in stem cells. Huh. Wow. Did not believe in stem cells. And, you know, what, but he also told me that I was too unhealthy uh, to even exercise. Hmm. And that I so didn't have so So let's not mention that doctor's name here? Yes. No free plug. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, it was a decision that I had to make for myself, sure. for my family, and for my potential well being. And I'll tell you right now, uh, based on where I am right now, I, it, it, was, it was the most important and it was the best decision I've ever done in my life. What were the benefits um, for you? Well, uh, just uh, based on what I was, how I was before, I had diabetes. Oh. I had such a weak heart. I couldn't even cross the street without grasping for air. Hmm. I would think twice, three times before I even cross the street because I know that I will not be able to make it before the light turns green. Mm -hmm. um, so imagine that situation where uh, you know you were a former athlete, you got injured, and then you, you just were not able to monitor your health properly with bad diet, stress, and also poor sleeping habit, mm -hmm. uh, which are the major co contributory factors for, you know, for bad health. Sure. Um, this were, these were the, the issues that had happened. And That's funny. There's like a thread amongst our guests, right? The Olympian coming from adversity, very healthy, had that accident. You missed that because I know you were braving through traffic. Thank you so much. You and Aggie <laughs> live in the same area, by the way. So I can, I can really braving be sensitive and, yes, 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 be sympathetic to that cause. Now, how safe is it? Well, uh, one thing that, that you'll see here is that we deal with a stem cell bank, and the stem cell bank is the one that provides the doctors. We follow very high standards. We follow the American Association of Tissue Bank, which is, which is a branch of the FDA. Uh, the bank, the stem cell bank, is a fully compliant with the FDA. And we have actually done thousands of, of therapies without adverse effects. There are virtually no known side effects. It is not a drug, so you don't need FDA approval on this one. Can I ask a question? Explain what stem cells are, because there may be some people who don't quite understand. Yes, uh, yeah, good question. The, uh, the stem cells are actually the building blocks of life. Uh, they are the ones that differentiate to become muscle cells, nerve cells, um, blood cells, also uh, cardiac cells. Uh, so these are the, the different the different. Uh, you know, uh, cells that could really help you right. build and rebuild and now, live. And where do they come from when they go to the... There are different sources of uh, stem cells. So The most controversial being the one from the umbilical cord. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it's, it's nothing new. Uh, stem cells have been around since the 60s mm -hmm. uh, from bone marrow. Mm -hmm. And then now it's, it's, uh, uh, now it's from the healthy born baby via cesarean section mm -hmm. it has to be full term and has to be live birth we do not do embryonic embryonic is not allowed here in the united states mm -hmm. and uh one thing that's nice is that uh it has been proven and we have the uh, the research for that it has been proven by science that uh stem cells derive from from uh 
cord blood, cord tissue, and amniotic is more potent. Interesting, to- interesting. Now, the only thing is, I hear it's cost restrictive, but there, you've got a solution for that. Yes, well, you know, being a stem cell therapy recipient myself, um, I, I share it to my, my loved ones, my friends, everyone that I know, everyone that I meet, everyone who's seriously considering stem cells, but of course the main obstacle has been the cost factor. Um, this year what we did was we developed a payment plan that allows an individual to have zero down payment with less than $200 a month. Wonderful. I think that's worth, yeah, passing on. Could you give them your phone number and the website if you have any? Yes. Uh, if you are seriously considering stem cells, the website is called Cell Therapy USA. If you would like, uh, dot com, so that's CellTherapyUSA.com. If you would like to have more information, text us at 949-345-5375. Once again, that's 949 949- Three four five, five three seven five. Just text uh, the coffee corner and stem cells. Yay! Perfect. Thank you so much. And it's time to say goodbye. This is such a full show. Thank you, everyone, for being here. An advance happy Chinese New Year tomorrow, you guys. Kung hei fa choy from the Coffee Corner Radio. This is Thelma saying a pleasant day to everyone. <laughs>